We are here. We are here. We are, in fact, here. We have made it to another Saturday night together, collectively. You, I, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole family. I am James. You are you. We are here for the Saturday, September 19th edition of At Home with James. It is 9.06 p.m. on the clock. We are live on twitch.tv slash at home with James. And let's get right into it. This is a very important episode in the history of this program. This nightly episodic legendary event that have brought us together since Monday, March 16th. Tonight is one of those milestone episodes. Now you might be asking yourself, James, I feel like you say that often. And the answer to that question or the answer to that statement would be, that's right. I tend to lean a little heavily into the hyperbole. There are some nights when I say big show tonight when I don't mean it, but what am I gonna do? Am I gonna say, hey folks, thrown together show tonight? Maybe I should. Maybe I should be more forthcoming with everyone and say, I dropped the ball. I got out of bed at 11 o'clock, even though I woke up at nine, I laid there for a little bit, wondered what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get through this? And then I got up and I made coffee and pretended to work on a to-do list. And then I decided, oh, I better go have more coffee with some of my friends. And then five o'clock rolls around. Your old pal, Jimsy Whimsy, hasn't booked a guest. Tonight is not like that. In fact, I've had this show booked for about three days, which might be a new personal record in the history of this show. On tonight's show, much later on, the captain, Dimitri Kirez, will be here. And he will be bringing his brigade of chiseled, bodied, security agents, otherwise known as Sailor's Delight, with him. He'll have Big Mike, Bigger Mike, Throd, I think was the name, and Mirage. So they'll be here. In addition to this, the return of On the Couch with Carmen featuring Carmen Rose, where I hand over the reins and she takes over the show. Last time she was here, was the James Birthday Bash blowout, which was, as voted by you, the viewer, and supported by James, the host, as the most unorganized episode of this show in the history of Twitch. Not only just James on Twitch, but Twitch as a whole. So Carmen will be here. I have imposed a series of production notes on Carmen. There might be some animosity. So when Carmen was here a couple months ago, we weren't sure if we could remain friends on the show. I suspect after tonight's episode, I'll have to do a little check-in. And I'm doing it now so I don't have to later. Call this what we call in the entertainment business, softening the blow. We've also got a first-time guest joining us, which is a very rare thing. But tonight, joining us will be DJ Bitcoin. People have been saying to me, James, why don't you have more music aficionados on the show? And I was like, well, you know, what am I going to do? Have people come on and play live music? That's when I got an email from this person, DJ Bitcoin, who said, I'm not going to play any live music, but I am going to bring the music to you. Now, at first, I thought it was some type of spam message because I said email. I got an Instagram DM. And it was in a group. So anytime you get those group DMs and you know that they come with a lot of emojis and a picture of some woman in, in a thong underpant number, it was like that, but it was this DJ in a thong underpant number. So DJ Bitcoin will be joining us in just a couple of moments. Before we get into all of that hullabaloo, this is an important show because this is, for better or for worse, the final Saturday night that we do right here in the iteration that you have come to know and love as At Home with James. As announced this past Tuesday, starting next week, we will be going from a Tuesday to Saturday schedule, and that will be changing to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one Saturday night special a month, one Sunday morning special a month. A condensed show, we're cramming everything in. It's like the equivalent of those... Uh, those like uh, prank peanut jars that you get. Someone's like, hey, you want a peanut? Yeah, you got to open up the jar to get a peanut. And you open it up and all the snakes spring out. That's going to be what this show is. I'm the one saying, hey, do you want a peanut? 
Hey, are you hungry? Would you like a peanut? I've never done that voice before. Okay, so this is an even bigger moment on this show. There's a new, hey, do you want a peanut? I'd like to offer you a fun peanut. I'm going to add that to my list of most reviled characters in addition to my Zac Efron impersonation and Chubby Belly, the man who cosplays as a, as a cute little kitty cat. So there's Chubby Belly. There's, oh, me and Zac Efron. And then there's, hey, do you want a peanut? That's what the show is like. It's, it, this is a show about opening it up. Boom. All of the snakes spring out. That's what we're doing as we move on. Because tonight is the season one finale of At Home with James. Everything that we have built from March until now is finalized. And we've gone through a variety of iterations of this show. There was loose, open conversation at home with James. Then there was nightly themes at home with James. Then there was weekly themes at home with James. Then there was a variety show at home with James. Then it became the character cavalcade of at home with James. What's next? You tell me, because I don't know. But something is going to change on Monday. Can I talk about how excited I am to get back to Monday's? Who the hell has a nightly show from Tuesday to Saturday? People saw that, and they probably thought I was some type of crackhead. James is smoking crack now. That's my new character, crackhead. I only do the hits. Crackhead. Do you want a peanut? <laughs> it's me, Zach Efron. Who wants to rub my chubby belly? I only do the hits now. I only do the hits on this show. Okay, let's get into it because I am really catching a groove. And if I don't stop, I'm going to keep entertaining myself and my guests will never arrive. Let us welcome our first guest. This is a first time appearance. I do sound effects now on the show. Deal with it. First time guest. He's coming to us from an undisclosed location as far as I know, because he didn't tell me where he's coming from. Let us welcome DJ Bitcoin. Oh, James. How are you, James? James uh, McGee. Let <laughs> me pause my mix real quick. Yeah. Oh, that was your mix? That was my mix. That's enough of that. I'm coming Look, to you. Look, uh, DJ Bitcoin, you're off to a rough start because the audio on that file is very yeah, upsetting it's, to it's me. It's the most high quality mix you can get. Yeah. What kind of phone do you have? It's an iPhone 4S. So the iPhone 4S is the highest quality phone you can get? It's, Where is it's the only phone that came out in Macedonia. Oh, so you're coming to us from Macedonia. No, I'm coming to you live from a nightclub in Bucharest. Okay, uh, nightclub in Bucharest, where which is located where? I it's apologize in, for my ignorance. It's in the deep uh, the Balkan states. You don't need to worry about it, but there's a lot of party people here, as you can see. Lots of party in Bucharest. Okay, so you are Moldovian. You're coming to us from the no, Balkans. No, 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 Macedonian. What did I say? You said Moldovian. I don't think my that's yeah. Which Moldovia is not a thing. There's Moldova. Moldova, yes. Look, I'm just I'm just excited to see you. So I'm getting all of my information all caught up into one ball of confusion. DJ Bitcoin, I want to thank you for reaching out for being here tonight. Are you as excited to be on this show as I am to have you on the show? I'm so excited to see you and all the party people here on Twitch.tv. Slash at home with James. Slash at home with James. You know, when I reached out to you on the Instagram message, I didn't just message you, right? I messaged The Rock. I messaged uh, 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 Colin Kaepernick. I messaged uh, uh, Carmen Rawls. Okay. They were, all, they, were all, they all ignored me, but you were very welcome to have me on. Well, look, it's my pleasure to have you here. And I guess my follow-up question is, what brings you to this show? What brought you to my DMs? What is the purpose of your appearance tonight? Yes, thank you so much, James, because, you know, uh, here in, uh, in, in, in Bucharest and also in Macedonia, we take break from, uh, from uh, election interference for either deep house music or to actually uh, do our, our, our national project, which is to kill rock and roll. So your national project is to kill rock and roll? Yes, yes, because our, our, our great president, uh, Goran Paddev, uh, after Greece annexed uh, Macedonia and told us to go and change our name to North Macedonia, we said, no, 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 no. And now our goal is to kill rock and roll to get back at Greece. Okay, so 
I love rock and roll. Yes, DJ I Bitcoin. Heard. I love rock and roll. I do not want to see rock and roll die. But what I am willing to do is give you a platform. So I understand you're trying to kill rock and roll for Greece. Yes, because Greece, they love rock and roll. But here in Macedonia, no, no, illegal. Only the yeah. house. The I think, house I think, yeah, when people think about Greece, the first thought that comes to mind is Greece. They love rock and roll. They love rock and roll. Have you ever seen Mamma Mia? Mamma Mia, the Have musical? You ever seen Mama, yeah, Mamma Mia. I wouldn't consider that rock and roll, watched, but you haven't watched Mamma Mia. No, I have not watched Mamma Mia, and I and I don't consider that rock and roll. But I respect the fact that you. What are you drinking there, DJ Bitcoin? Oh, this is Macedonian lager called uh, 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 illegal illegal uh, 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 cigarette. Oh, so <laughs> you've got a lager called illegal cigarette, and now yes. it looks like what are you smoking? This, is that uh, also an illegal cigarette? This, no, this is crack cocaine. Oh, so you're gonna smoke? Some rolled up crack cocaine. You mentioned Zach. You mentioned Zach Efron. He, he, I think he in the club tonight. Oh, he's in the club tonight. Well, yes. I do understand he met someone from uh, Australia. But look, not to get derailed. Take us through how you intend on killing uh, rock and roll. It's very simple, okay, James. Because first step is to remix every song on the on the all, on all the tracks, all the top hits, all the all the number one Billboard chart. Okay. We remix. We remix. Oh, so you're going to take rock and roll hits and remix them to be more dance club themed. Now the Deep House, James. Now you get deep. it. Oh, okay. Deep House. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm a rock and roll fan, but what I can tell you, DJ Bitcoin, is that you have tickled my curiosity. So oh, tell James. me more. James, part of people, you're such a part of person. I love this about you, James. And that's why tonight I wanted you to do the ultimate rock and roll kill challenge. So the ultimate rock and roll kill challenge. Yes. I am intrigued and nervous, but it's, willing. It's very simple, James. It's very simple. Okay. So the first step is we're going to play some of my DJ Bitcoin. You can find me on PayPal. You mm -hmm. can, uh, we're going to play some of my top remix. Okay. And it's going to be up to you to guess which song, a rock and roll song I'm trying to kill. Okay, so it is up to me to decipher which one of these rock and roll classics is beneath the dance house. Yes, yes, it's it's going to be like a a, a, a Sunday morning. It's 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 uh, Shrek and Bojek, which is our Christmas, and you're going to be waking up and opening up gift. You're like, is this Pitulizzi? No, 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 no. It's rock and roll remix I make. And it's 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 the end of that song, and now the beginning of the house version. Well, consider me uh, the proverbial excited young man running okay. down the stairs on this morning. So I understand that you have uh, provided our uh, technical director with all of the necessary songs. Yes. So I will let you. Correct. I will let you lead the way. Yeah. So technical director, I sent you on on a secret chat on signals, so government don't find me. Uh, I sent you a first track. And uh, James, this one's a this one. Ooh, this one is a bit of a, 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 a underground band. Okay, so good luck with this first one. Okay, Hit it. yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait to hear this. So then we get busted. Yeah, we get busted for copyright infringement. So this episode is once in a lifetime. Well, we can. We'll pause that there. What you uh, you already figured it out? Yes, it's a uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles, and oh. again. James McGee, are you second coming of Mick Jagger? Yeah, yeah, I, because I'm able to predict famous Beatles songs, just call me the second coming the of, second Mick coming of Mick Jagger. Yeah, I'm the second coming of Mick oh. Jagger. Also, what? I'm trying to do this in record time so these videos don't get scrubbed. So That's fair enough. You know, you have maximum 15 seconds before... Uh, before a uh, copyright come in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I'm glad that you're a technical uh, whiz Let, on this one too. The, the ladies go crazy for this one. Mm -hmm. So you get ready for the next one. Are you ready, technical director? Good luck, James, because yeah. this one you'll never get. Okay, great. Hit it, hit it. Great, let's pause that there. What the, uh, the what answer the fuck, is James, yeah, the, how are you so good at this game? Yeah, the answer is uh, give me shelter by the Rolling Stones. Oh, I'll call you Martin Scorsese, huh? And give you uh give you a Oscar, huh? You might as you might as well just call me Mickey Auger. Mickey Auger, huh? Good guy, good guy. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Okay, James. Well, he's not dead, but let's continue. James, you have yes. passed through two the second circle of hell, all right? Yeah, and but yeah, I'm passing through because I do not want these videos to get scrubbed. And I know I'm not the only one. Carla Ma is out there and for, for
for all intents and purposes, I can feel her cheering me on yes, from British get, Columbia get right now. Right, right, yes. Right. And hey, the faster you go, the quicker the wit's done. So yes, here yes. I have my three horsemen of darkness. Okay. They're ready to to beat you to pulp and back back Bucharest Alley unless you get this one right. Yeah, those are two very, uh, very striking. Uh, well, not the guy in the middle, but uh, can you? Yeah. So <laughs> is what you find foot? Is that footage of me? That's footage of you in Bucharest, Bucharest uh, nightclub. Okay, with, I've got a, I've got a lot of explaining with, to you. with Vladimir Putin, and oh. I'm, I'm going to blackmail you unless you get this right one. We're we're on your... different screens, and I want you to get away from me. Uh, let's I'm, get that. I'm going net... to ruin your credibility unless you get this right. Okay. <laughs> let's get to the next song. Here we go, last one. Good luck, James. Let's pause that right there. Uh, what the answer the is fuck? the answer James. is uh, Blue Oyster Cult. James, Don't fear the Reaper. James McGee. You are God of Macedonia. I, I, you. You have, just said you wanted to ruin me. I, but now I made the full 360, my friend. My friend, uh, party people, everyone at home in the Deep House Club, we're all going to be dancing for James McGee tonight because he is the new Gordon Pandev, the new, uh, the new head of Macedon, North Macedonia. Yeah. And you have now been our official mascot of great man. So thank you so much, James. DJ Bitcoin, can I ask you a question? Yeah, hits me. How much Coke have you smoked today? Coke does smoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much Coke you do you smoke? Much, you ask me how much Coke I smoke? Yeah. Oof. Is it, do you use imperial measurement? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not much of a math guy. Well, that's, it, it, whatever you use, it's not enough to measure, huh? Okay, so you're saying uh, copious amounts of cocaine. Yes, it, get pumps, it gets pumped right through my blood from the beats. Okay, great. So am I to understand that you and I are on good terms now? Hey, James, anytime yes. you're in Bucharest, okay? You, Zac Efron, Barack Obama, we all go out together, okay? I show well, you yeah, I, yeah I, I, I often run with Zac Efron and Barack Obama. Yes, well, hey, when, you, when you're in Bucharest, let me know, okay? We have a great time. We do live James McGee from Bucharest. Oh, well, that MTV sounds... TV Spring Break Special. Yeah, that sounds great. The uh, live live at home with James from Bucharest MTV Spring Break Special. Yes, we do wet t-shirt contest. You win. I'm not, I don't want to be any uh, anywhere near a wet t-shirt contest. Win, wet t-shirt contest. How do they work in Bucharest? <laughs> if I dare ask, we uh, we put you we put you inside a, a large uh, 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 the whole village come together. We make a large goat. We make a large plastic goat, and we put you inside, and you come out of the goat uterus, sliding through all slimy, and you wear a right t-shirt. And when you get up, you go yeah, a bo- uh, uh, a second bojack because it's yeah. Christmas here, and then we all we all cheer for you. We all cheer, James McGee, uh, King of Macedonia. Well, uh, I guess we've accomplished what we've. Yeah, you want you don't want to drop your cocaine roll uh, there, the uh, DJ. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You don't want to smoke that the wrong way. Uh, I've been DJ, chewing this all night, baby. Yeah, well, have fun with that. It's almost like a pixie stick of coke. Uh, hey, James, thank yes. you for having me. Uh, hey, uh, a technical director, playing me out. Okay, let's pause that song there so we don't, don't get scrubbed. Don't, don't get scrubbed. Don't scrub. Yeah, well, I don't want to get. I don't want no scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. That was DJ Bitcoin, which may have been the fastest and quickest appearance of a guest on this show ever. This is occurring to me anytime I need for a guest. You know, when it's getting a little long around the tooth, I need for them to chew on some cocaine to get them to the point so I can whisk them back away into the information superhighway. You know what? I don't know what DJ Bitcoin is about other than wanting to kill rock and roll. He briefly turned on me, which, let's be honest, I don't spend a lot of time hanging around with doobie smokers, drug blowers, or anything of the sort. But I do understand that people who are high or puffing the magic dragon can be irritable. I think I did something to set him off, but then when I answered those questions in record time, and I want to stress, I did not know what those files were. Because I love rock and roll, rock, rock and roll will live forever, and God gave rock and roll to you. Let us move on to our next segment. Once again, thanks to DJ Bitcoin. She is here 
to take over the show with 99% less awkward pauses. It is now time for On the Couch with Carmen. Well, usually you get uh, that song played in full and there's a round of applause. We have a new technical director tonight, Carmen. It's okay. It's okay, James. You know what? Thank you, James. I appreciate it. And I know that everyone in the chat is doing the same thing right now. I sure hope so. James? Carm yeah. Welcome to my show. Thank you for having me. I feel welcomed. How's your day? My day has gone very well, thank you. Mm. And yours? I was waiting for the re for the return question. It's also going very well. I love this weather. It's chilly. It's wonderful. It's your season. Can we say that? We can say that. I insist that we say that. Fall is my season. I would love nothing more than after this show, put my cool guy jacket on, the one that I was wearing live on Tuesday on James All Alone, Maybe I'll take a walk. Maybe I'll get a nighttime coffee. If anyone's out there in St. Henry and you see an effing cool guy drinking coffee, it's right here. James, I'm really loving your confidence tonight. Look, it went away for a little bit. I don't know where it went away, but I can feel it returning. I'm feeling feisty. Good, good, I'm glad. Well, James, you know, we're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that's to switch over the reins of the show. So I'm gonna take over now mm -hmm. with your permission. Of course. I'm gonna invite you to sit on the couch. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have a very special segment today because oh. today is the season finale of At Home With James and it is also the season finale of On The Couch With Carmen. Mm. Now, later in the show, I have an announcement. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> um, but before then, <laughs> we're going to reflect on the past season of your show. Yeah. And all the wonderful moments. And it's our technical director, he's new. Yeah. Um, and all the wonderful moments we've had together and um, with other people. Mm -hmm. So, James, tell me, how do you feel about that moving on, moving forward? Uh, well, you know what? It's an exciting thing. Uh, part of me feels a little sad that we will be moving from five nights a week, but I do feel very strongly that in moving to three nights a week with two special episodes a month, we'll be able to do things in a more concise way. I think quality will go up, but I also think that it'll give us time to promote so segments like the one that we're doing right now will be viewed by far more people. But otherwise, I feel uh, very thankful that people uh, have wanted to spend five nights a week doing this. I think that we've created something special, and that's a very nice feeling. And I think we'll be able to do that a little bit more. And who knows, maybe in a couple months when everyone's depressed in the winter and we're snowed in, we'll start going back to five. Who knows? Hmm. I ain't scared. Okay, so you're not fully committed to this change in programming well i'm i'm fully committed now but you know what i change like a sweaty person feels about their underwear often well we've talked about this james and your sweaty underwear i think stays on a little too long oh uh, well yeah we have talked about that yes that's true but if it means anything i put on a fresh pair this morning well i'm really glad because no sweaty underwear person is allowed on this couch. Well, I thank you for keeping me appraised of that. And I know that because I'm wearing a clean pair, I'd be more than welcomed. Carmen, I'd like, if, if, with your permission, because you're in charge, I'd like to acknowledge something in the chat. Sure, let's do it. Uh, coming from uh, what I have deemed the show's number one viewer of all time and currently serving as At Home With James chief political correspondent, Sid Rock, uh, he mentions, quote, Carmen's air horn, barely audible from her phone, was the best part. And I made it clear to the chat that I demanded that audio quality of the air horn go up. 
Mm -hmm. It's an interesting comment. What do you think about that, James? What do I think about it? I think that sometimes you need to sacrifice a short-term gag for long-term quality. How do you feel about that, Carmen? Well, I mean, I enjoyed having control over my air horn, but, Mm -hmm. you know, I think my announcement later is going to fix all of that. Well, I guess we're not getting the air horn. Our technical director's not paying attention. Don't play it. (laughs) Here's the thing, Carmen. Here's the thing. I'm not going to say who's on the board tonight, but the folks who watch this show regularly, by process of elimination, can probably determine who's on the board tonight. Carmen, can I tell you something? Can I afford you, or rather, can you afford me the time to tell you a story? It, it make it short. We have a lot to get through tonight. Don't, don't worry. Do you remember the early days of At Home with James when I was in control of the show? I do, on when Instagram. I, when I would bring on the guests, I would send the guests away, I would play the music. Yeah. Then when we moved to Twitch, I gave that up for the betterment of the show. And at first, that first week, I was very uncomfortable. I didn't know what to do with my hands, but I had to trust the vision of others. And I know that right now it's uncomfortable for you not being able to sort of loudly play the sound from your phone, but I just know that deep down, we'll come to an understanding. And who knows, maybe if there's a big enough demand, maybe it'll come back. Listen, people, uh, no one, knows it better than I do. And that is that show business is a collaborative sport. Yeah, it's, it, show business is a collaborative sport. Carmen, let's get on with the, uh, let's get on with the segment. Let's please, okay. James, I wanna go through some of your uh, top moments in mm-hmm. with James history, because I know that Sydney gave you a, a really great and extensive top 10 but we've never heard about your top 10. Yep. And we're not going to do top 10. Mm-hmm. We're going to, I've, I've separated it into different segments. I want oh, to know I love that. If, you, if you can think of it. I know it's a kind of hard to ask you on the spot. That's okay. But you're, I want to know your top three funniest moments. <clears throat> top three funniest moments. This is really, that's really hard. Um, one of them always comes to mind in which I was having an encounter with mean business on the air. And I remember the episode, it was in the old Instagram days, thirsty Thursday. This episode is archived and available on Instagram at, at home with James show. Once again, on Instagram, the account is at, at home with James show thirsty Thursday, in which I went deep undercover to understand what thirsty Thursday was when I came to understand how old Mean Business was and the age of his uh, much younger lover. if we I know that's out of fashion. It's more, more, more appropriate to say partner. I like to go a little sexy with things by saying lover. That was a very, <clears throat> excuse me, hilarious moment. Funny moments. A variety of hilarious moments on the Ruth Booth episode, which is archived on our YouTube page that we never publicize, but it's all there. This is very difficult. Uh, the, it, you, we talk about the regular guests, whether it's Carla Ma, Dimitri Kirez, when the littlest hobo is here, the other day, Rodney looking to break the record of most consistent eating of grapes. This is very hard. This is very hard, Carmen. I know. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I ask the hard questions. You, you do. And we want, we want the truth, James. Mm-hmm. Everyone in the chat, say it with me. Truth, truth, truth. <laughs> yeah, I'll say my favorite moment, funniest moment in terms of uh, comedy was my inter- any interaction with mean business. Sleazy Darren recently ransacking a bar. There's been so many. Well, I'm glad that the moments keep getting funnier and funnier. It's true. Sounds like that's what's happening. I'm sorry, I got distracted because you mentioned someone's name and it just getting a little flustered because of it. Or are we talking about mean business? Let's move on, shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, let's. 
I want to know your three fun, um, most heartwarming moments. Okay, so we have to talk about that birthday compilation video. That was, uh, it put, sent me to the brink, the brink of total annihilation. I could feel, I could feel my, uh, my nasal area and all of my uh, eye areas starting to get a little damp. Uh. That, that might occupy all, all three spots. There was also that, that one week in May where I was just out to lunch and I and I and I profess my appreciation. I love that I'm on my own list of most heartwarming moments, but it's so difficult not to just put that that birthday compilation video as as one, two, and three all together. Just the kindness yeah. that everyone uh, exhibited there is uh, touching on a level that I I can't even bring myself to watch that video again because it takes me to a place I'm not ready to go to. Ah, James, G Carmen, you I'm were really, that I'm really glad that you're you're um, letting yourself feel these emotions. Well, you know better than I do that it doesn't happen often. It doesn't, it doesn't. You have a hard time being vulnerable. Um, well, not a hard time. Well, pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. Well, that's why we're friends. Yeah. Okay. Top three most challenging moments, James. The most challenging moments. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah. The uh, top three most challenging moments. I'm not going to name any names, but boring interviews. It's just challenging. Ooh, I think we all want you to name names. Well, I might if we ever talk in private. So anyone out there, just talk to me in private, and we'll talk about it. And it's not going to be online. I'm not not sacrificing anything to be screen captured. I would say, any time on Instagram when it was impossible to bring guests in. I couldn't have Sid on the show for, oh, yeah. any inex for an inexplicable reason. I couldn't get Sid on. So that really frustrated me because I love having Sid on the show. Um, and I would say uh, a difficult uh, moment was moving the show to Twitch, which became exponentially easier once Carla Ma was able to help us. And by help, I mean motivate Dave and myself to do work. And by Dave and myself, I mean Dave. <laughs> yes, yes, it was quite, uh, as someone who has a hard time breaking out of his comfort zone. Oh, me? Yes, you. I, I disagree. I am very proud that you did such a big move and, and I think you should be really happy about that. I am very happy and I credit 100% of the work to David and uh, Carla. And if it means anything, our technical director tonight is nodding approvingly that I do not like to be outside of my comfort zone, which is shocking because I promote it so much in improv, but I'm a little hypocrite, short and stout. Let's move on. Um, that's great. I just want to. Oh, mention here's a great, here's a great one coming in the chat. What about the Microsoft episode? That was also. That was a joke that I created that turned on myself. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe we can have a little. Do you want to talk about it or should we? I I did the joke. I did the show because I thought it would be a troll. I was trolling my own audience during Weird Week, and then it just ended up being well. It was informative, but I was like, why did I pick this? No, nah, Microsoft episode was fun. We're gonna do night two. Okay, in in season two. Yeah, we're gonna broadcast. We're gonna try to broadcast the show from uh, a computer operating on Windows ninety eight. Whoa, that's old. That's yeah, that's very old. Also, possibly impossible. Yeah, I don't even think those exist anymore. We're gonna find. We're gonna find out. Um, this is the, your hundred thirty fourth episode, James. Yes, this is true. That is a long first season. That's, yeah, that's so season two is also going to be, this took six months to get here. So season two will end in uh, March. It'll be, yeah, we'll go a full year. Full so year. Yeah, yeah, we're going to, well, look, we've been doing this show for six months. Remember when everyone was like, oh, in the summer, COVID will be gone. It's like, no, it wasn't. I never thought it was going to be. I think we'll be here forever. Wow. Which means I will be here forever until I get COVID. It goes undiagnosed, and then everyone finds me in the shower in a heap. 
dark, James. Dark. Which is which is bad because I'll be both dead and nude. Unless in that time frame I start showering wearing clothes, which is possible. I could see if anyone would wear clothes in the shower, it would be you. Yeah, I think so. That is the first judgment, the first projection and judgment you've made of me that I agree with. Um, I'm usually pretty spot on. I'm vulnerable and get out of my comfort zone. Let's move on. Okay. On that note, your top three worst moments. Didn't we just do that? Well, we did uncomfortable. Oh, or no, unco challenging. We did most challenging. Oh, the top three worst moments in the show. Yeah. I realize you might want to not, you might want to, it might hurt people's feelings if you talk. About no, I, there's nothing that I would, frankly, there's nothing I consider worst. There's certainly shows that I leave where I feel like I don't do a good job. I would say that stretch of time in May. So our 50th episode week followed by CanCon week when I was in a misery spiral, mm. which I think most people could pick up on pretty easily. That's yeah, those were the worst moments. Those were the worst moments because I feel like I was doing a disservice to the audience. Well, that's very kind. You're you're very um generous with your audience. Yes, I think so too. And uh, in the chat, I keep hearing about sad CanCon week. The actual content on the show was great. We and by we I mean myself and Jason Grimmer counted down the top 25 Canadian songs of all time. We talked about Canadian TV. All of those episodes are archived. So if you want to check them out at at home with James show on Instagram. Yeah, those are the worst moments. Okay. Well, before we move on to the next part, I want to remind everyone that later on this evening, I have a special announcement. Wonderful. Um, so before then, I want to know, I want to like set up a little bit of a plan mm. moving forward for your second season. I love that. Um, I want to know your hopes and, and we'll, and set some concrete goals. Mm. Yeah. I love that. For? I love this. So my hopes and concrete goals, my hopes for all of us collectively is to build a nice little fan base, a pocket of people that can see all of the hard work that people like yourself do, that Steph does, that Dave does, everyone who contributes to the show. My goal and my hope is to build an audience that can also not only contribute to the show in the long run, both in the chat and creatively, but also to really get kind of weird with the show. Mm, get weird. Can you elaborate on that? Okay, so this is something... Maybe I'll talk about some of the some of the segments that I'm hoping to do. Now, the great thing about this is I like a nice secret in the world of show business, but I also think by establishing it, it will force me to do it. So people in the chat, I hope you're ready. Carmen, are you ready? I'm ready. One thing that I would love to accomplish on At Home with James is to get really big with it. And I think... What does it mean to be big? Well, I think competition, prizes, events. And that's why before the year is out, I would like to not only present, but sponsor the 2020 At Home with James vaping competition. But not only a competition, the championship, the 2020 At Home with James vape championships. What will this entail? I want to find the best, the biggest, and the brightest vapors that the internet has to offer to come on here. Strut. I want to know who the best vapor is. I want to see tricks, oh. styles. I want us to be able to smell the strawberry con cat and candy, cat and candy, <laughs> cotton candy. That was Carmen's favorite moment. Yeah, yeah. Cat and Condi. Yeah. Oh, I guess, Carmen, you've woken up your daughter. Um, I want to find the best. I want to be able to smell the Cat and Condi flavor from off the screen. But that's not it, Carmen. Do you want to hear another one? One of yeah. my dreams? Have you heard of, you know, the, the Arnold classic, Mr. Universe? A competition that shows off the most buff fellas that the world has to offer? I've never heard of this, no. Well, they generally tend to be 
bodybuilding competitions or feats of strength with huge beefcakes. Okay. Right now, this is going to be difficult, but I would like to present not only the 2020 At Home with James Vape Championships, right here, right now, I am making a promise that I intend to try to present the 2020 Mr. At Home with James Championship. <laughs> I'm looking for not only the biggest and the best vapors, but the biggest and the best muscles that we can find. James, do you want to keep talking about this for a minute? Yes. Yeah, please do. I will now strut my hosting expertise. Folks, as Carmen goes to soothe her crying baby, which is what's happening unless you don't have your volume up nice and high, we will be back on Monday. That's right. Monday, we make our return to Monday nights. I got one night off, but you know what's great about that is that we have one night until you and I are reunited and it feels so good. Snap with me. Reunited because we understood. There's one perfect fit and sugar, this one is it. We both are so excited because we're reunited. Hey, hey, hey. That's what's going to happen. I am feisty tonight. I'm feisty. We will be reunited right here. Carmen's leaving again, so I have to continue vamping. On Monday, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. If you're coming to us from the West Coast, tell your mom, dad, auntie, unky, brother, sister, grammy, grampy, neighbor, best friend, or your worst enemy about Monday nights. And then we'll be back on Wednesday and Friday. In addition to this, much later on tonight, we will have the captain, Dimitri Kiras, joining us. I'm a little worried. When I spoke to him before the show, he was in a great mood. Fantastic mood. I know it sounds like or I'm kind of doing a Trump right now. I'm not trying to. I feel like he was kind of ripped off by DJ Bitcoin. The party atmosphere, the music, the fact that DJ Bitcoin had like a couple like hot guys with him. That's like kind of Dimitri's thing. So clearly DJ Bitcoin did not do his research on the show because biting other people's stuff is like not my bag, man. It's not my bag. <laughs> okay, so I guess our technical director is having a bit of fun. So we're going to try that again. So I'm going to say something as a nice lead into that. We're going to make it seem like I just told a great joke. Um, I guess we can, uh, we can call the cops on DJ Bitcoin because tonight he committed robbery on Dimitri. <laughs> And that laugh is coming to us courtesy of former Toronto Raptor and current Los Angeles Clipper, Kawhi Leonard. I thought we were going to get it again, but don't worry about it. I thought we were going to get it again. A little bumper, a little bumper in the showbiz world. Guys, here's the deal. Carmen has left. She has left. But what she has left is me with you. She talked about my hopes, dreams, and aspirations for the show. I told you about the 2020 At Home with James vape championship i told you about the 2020 mr at home with james championship here's another little spoiler i'm just going to start revealing stuff thing after thing after thing guys we're on the 19th of september right now october is coming up what's october synonymous with yeah some people can get out there and you know put on their little fashionable scarf ascot if you're part of the fashion world maybe you're going to starbucks you're getting yourself a psl a pumpkin spice latte which is one of the greasiest drinks you can get we both know halloween's on the way right things are gonna get spooky and things are gonna get very spooky on at it with james because we are gonna celebrate halloween throughout the entire month of october and let's face it i'm not a halloween guy but the goal is to get me inspired for Halloween. So that's another hope, another dream, another wish for At Home with James. Carmen, what do you think about that answer? I wasn't listening. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we've got our youngest guest ever on At Home with James. Carmen, would you like to do the honors? Yes, everybody. This is 
uh, Lumi Rose and she's having a little bit of a hard time sleeping right now. And you know what? We're all having a bit of a hard time. And it was because her mom laughed too loud. At well, Pat you know what? Patty. I say, again, a short-term problem for a long-term success. Your daughter will be surrounded by one of the best laughers that I know, surrounded Aww. by joy, jubilation, and positivity. Carmen, what else do you have on tap for me tonight? Well, James, I'm glad that I think, I'm pretty sure while I was away, you expressed your hopes and dreams mm -hmm. um, for moving forward. Now, I think it might be time for my announcement. Ah, crystal clear audio. Take us through the announcement, Carmen. Well, James, I'm moving to Copenhagen, Denmark. Okay, so you're moving to Denmark. I'm moving to Denmark. And you may ask why. Why? I'm moving. And it's because I, unlike you, opened my heart and became vulnerable to someone here on the show. Okay, think, tell me I think, more. I think you know who I'm talking about. Very handsome man. Mm -hmm. And I haven't, I, he's just, he's just stolen my heart. Okay, so a handsome man. So it's not Dimitri and it's not me. And it's, yeah, yeah, your daughter responded in a real nice way to that one with that belch. Now, are you talking about the one you call mean? He and I. And your daughter. <laughs> daughter. <laughs> oh my God. No, my daughter wasn't involved. But Mean and I developed feelings for each other and we had a romance. Okay. you Yeah, I don't think your daughter is pleased with this considering Mean Business is not your daughter's father. Yes. Yeah, you might want to earmuff that. So, Carmen, you're leaving your fiance to be with Mean? No, Mean was, just as his name says, a mean man. He broke my heart, James. Okay, so you're not running away with him? I'm not running away with him. I'm running away to heal. You're running away to heal. So this is an eat, pray, love type of thing. Yes. I'm going to, De I'm going to Copenhagen, and I'm going to start afresh. You're going to start afresh. Yes. And in the meantime, I'm subletting my apartment mm -hmm. to my twin brother, Connor. Connor Rose? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he is going to be taking over On the Couch with Carmen. So On the Couch with Carmen hosted by Connor? That's right. Yeah. On the Couch with Connor. Okay, so when does this come? I'm just getting this news. I'm, no one told me. No one in the production told me. When does this begin? Yeah, now they're laughing at me in the booth. Uh, when does this begin, Carmen? Next week. Next week. I'm leaving this weekend. Do you know what? Do you know what day Connor's going to be here? Um, you'll have to. I can send you his number. He's he's a great guy. He's a little bit of the black sheep of the family. He's not like me at all. Um, and but I think you're gonna have a really great time with him. Uh, Carmen, your daughter is drooling excessively right now, and I'm I'm floored by this information. Not only are you abandoning your post, but you're you're running away. I guess I have to say that I'm happy for you that you're following your bliss. Thank you, James. I know that we've had some good times here on the couch, but mm -hmm. it's time for me to, to do this for myself. And not your daughter. <laughs> no, she'll come with me. Oh, she'll come with you. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Well, Carmen, look, I have to uh, be as genuine as possible when I say I really appreciate all the times that you pop on and the work that you put into this show. But also I recognize that you need to put work into yourself. That's right. And I know that you weren't happy about me insisting that our production team take over the air horn, but I know that just like all of our past kerfuffles, 
we'll be able to get over this. And who knows, maybe I can visit you in Copenhagen and make my return to Copenhagen one day soon. Listen, I think you're really going to get along with Connor. He's a great guy. Yep. Well, well, I hope so. I, if he's anything like his sister, then I'll be best friends with him. James. Carmen. I'm glad that we were able to have this moment together. So am I. And I'm, I'm looking forward to season two from watching it from, from Copenhagen. Mm-hmm. Um, and Lumi is happy to be here too. She's and drooling with joy. She's drooling with joy as she normally does. Mm -hmm. And let's just say, James, you are you. I am Carmen. This is Lumi. Everyone is everyone. Mm -hmm. Good night. Farewell. Be well. That was Carmen Rose on what I guess doubled as the season finale of On the Couch with Carmen. Apparently next week, her brother, Connor Rose, how do I wrap my mind? On the Couch with Carmen, hosted by Connor. Okay, that's next week. I think I can get the hang of that. Thanks to Carmen Rose. I appreciate you, Carmen. Let us move on to our final segment of the night. I've already done all my, my preamble about next week. He is coming to us with his squadron of studs known as Sailor's Delight. Let's welcome the captain, Dimitri Kirez. So this is this is par for the course. This is the Dimitri that we know and love. Sleeping, or as I call it, passed out due to excessive alcohol consumption. Dimitri. Oh, man. Oh, James. Dimitri, how's it going, buddy? Oh, I was just having a dream about you, brother. Well, tell me about the dream. Oh, we were entangled. In what way? Oh, baby, we were in a Ford Ferrari in the back seat, entangled with a brick right on the accelerator. Mm -hmm. Just going for it, brother. Well, it sounds like a, a great dream that would never be a reality that I would, yeah, drink up, Dimitri. So you're here. You had your dream. You had your little siesta before the segment. You're here with Sailor's Delight, known for their rock hard abs standing at attention, and they're, quote, nice, nice dicks. Oh, buddy, these guys' as dicks are crazy. You have never seen specimens like these before. And and for people who aren't educated on who they are, could you introduce us to them? Wow, uh, with, with absolute pleasure, buddy. Um, right over here, we got, uh, no, right over here, we got the rookie Throng. Yeah, Throng. Then we got uh, Mirage. Mm -hmm. Then right over here, we've got Big Mikey. Oh, that son of a bitch. We know that there's tension between you two, yep. And right over here, we got Bigger Mikey, his brother. Yeah, sporting his Playboy bunny tattoo on his outer pelvis. Yeah, that's right. Hey, he's a bit of a freak, but aren't we all, James? What's your little quirky weird thing? Well, my quirky weird thing is I broadcast on Twitch every night. Oh, you sick bastard. James, I'm Can so Can I ask you oh. what your what your quirky weird thing is, Dimitri, outside of excessive alcohol abuse? Sticking up for my friends. That's your quirky weird thing? Yeah, needing ass. James, I'm so oh. happy to see you here, brother, more than anything, because you finally took me up on my offer. Are you here because you want to be a part of Sailor's Delight? Well, yeah, last time you were here, you offered me a position in Sailor's Delight, your security team. And I'll be honest. I was excited about the prospect. I'm looking for work just like anyone whose company that they worked for went bankrupt during these difficult and uncertain times. Are you doing the uh, Mr. Robot as I'm trying to explain to you and answer your question? Yeah, when I get bored, I just start moving. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand that. So I was, I was tempted and I was tickled, but I'm still not sure that I fit in. So can you again take us through what it means to be part of Sailor's Delight while trying to stay awake well, and uh, staying vertical? 
James, being a part of a cruise ship security team is probably some of the most difficult, arduous, and disgusting work you can possibly do in your lifetime. So when I'm mm -hmm. looking for the best of the best, I am not pissing around. Yeah, you're not pissing around? Okay, so I appreciate that you look at me as, quote, the best of the best. But I need to ask you, what is it that you see in me? If I'm going to do this, if I'm going to go all in, what is it that you see in me? What do I bring to your team? What do I bring to Sailor's Delight? What are my intangibles? James, I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Yeah, you don't got the rock-hard body as my minions do behind me. Yeah, you don't got the tanned figure, the huge muscles, the absolute perfect front and bottom teeth. You got something that I love more than anything. Something that this team sorely misses right now. And that, that's just a nice, nice dick. Well, they have a lot of that, James. Let me yeah, just tell you're you. Right, they you're got right, a you're lot. Right. I got too eager. I Buddy, got too eager. let me just, my main export would be, would be nice dicks if I had a, if I had a business over here. Let me just say that. Yeah, I got what eager. I, I got eager. What I was trying to say, James, was heart. Oh. You got the biggest, most vascular, thick, throbbing heart I have ever seen in my entire life. It's why I fell in love with you. It's why we're best friends. It's why I would take Poseidon's spear to the, to the stomach for you, James, any day of the week. Well, that is, you know, Carmen Rose asked me what some of my most sentimental moments on the show were, and that has got to rank up there because I look at myself as someone who's got heart too. Sure, I present like a very cool guy, yeah, I do improv. Yeah, I collect Coca-Cola items. Was this boring you? No, no, no. I'm with, I'm with you on this one. Dimitri, I have to accept your offer. James. I know it's in my nature to question you, but what, what other choice do I have anymore? I've lost everything, man. I've lost, all I have left is this show <laughs> and the people that believe in me. So I accept your position in Sailor's Delight. Do you mean that, man? You're not just, you're not just pissing around? No, I'm with you. I'm, I am all in. You're never going to regret this, James, for as long as you live. Um, I, I hope not. James, first and foremost, I just want to thank you. And I want to say you're going to love it here. I can't wait to introduce you to the guys. Yeah, We're going to have a fantastic... We're going to have a fantastic time tonight, James. First things are first. You, are you telling me that tonight we break all the rules? Yeah! James! You're becoming the absolute hound dog I always envisioned you would become, brother. Look at well, you. And I, I feel like I've had it in me a little bit. This, these COVID times, they're making me a little crazy. They're making me a little wild. James. I feel like there's a hound dog. What, what, what am I to do? <gasps> James, you're absolutely right. When the dog is absolutely against the side of the wall, the dog loses control. The dog breaks free, brother. Yeah. I like to scream directly into, into Big Mikey's abs. <laughs> well, look, and why would you not, right? You want to know why you're doing it? Why? Because tonight we break all, all the rules. rules. James. It feels, good. it feels good to say that. You know what? I might unzip a little bit. Flex for me, James. Yeah, why? Well, you know? Yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah take, the shirt, take the sweater off. I'm not, take the sweater uh, Don't worry, we're all cool, okay? Right, guys? Right, guys? Throng? Throng, Mirage, Big Mikey, Bigger Mikey? I'm, I'm a little nervous. James, you're becoming the primal beast. You're ascending to Mount Olympus. You're becoming, you're becoming the man you were supposed to become. I feel tingly. Hey, hey, drink some of this, brother. Oh, no, nah, I don't think, I'm not ready for that yet. Here, I'll, okay, uh, yeah, 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 you're I, right. No, I'm, I'm drinking some, uh, I'm drinking some uh, grapefruit flavored club soda so this is uh everyone little steps right little yeah steps. yeah take that hey take that sweater off let's go i want to wrestle you yo we're gonna, we're gonna wrestle yeah yeah we're gonna wrestle a little bit uh, all right this is what this is how we stay fit 
you know, here on the boat, we get, we get a little wrestly. So yeah. How are we going to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, are you getting sweaty? I'm getting real sweaty. Yeah, me too. You better take that. You better take that shirt off. <laughs> okay, I better take the shirt off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, Big Mikey, Bigger Mikey. Yeah, you guys are cool with that? I always like to ask them if they're cool with that. Before somebody takes a shirt. Hey, I, I like that shirt, man. That's yeah, well, a cool yeah, yeah. This, shirt. Uh, shirt courtesy of uh, Tunnel Espresso, uh, one of my would-be sponsors. Again, I'm trying – one of my goals, Carmen Rose asked, I want the at-home with James Coffee roast that you only drink at 9 o'clock. Yeah, that, that would, that's a genius. That's a $100 million idea right there. Hey, James, you're looking great, man. You're becoming you're becoming Hercules incarnate. Hey, roll up those sleeves for me real quick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, is, uh, this I'm getting out of my comfort zone here. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at you! Yeah. Look at you! Yeah. Oh yeah, James. Hey, you're strong, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ch- yeah check this out. <laughs> hey, you're strong. Fuck! Yeah. Holy hell! Hey, you're big. You're almost as big as Big Big Mikey. No, I no no no. We, we can't insult Big Mikey like that. Hey, uh, hey. this is. James, I gotta take him down a notch sometimes, you know? Okay, okay. I gotta yeah. take him down a notch because these son of a bitches, they'll be after my job in a minute. They'll be after your job too. Look, can I tell you something, Dimitri? Yeah, man. There's still some stuff that I'm gonna need to work on. It's 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 a it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm. But I'm gonna tell you something. I feel invigorated, especially with Monday night broadcasts coming back. I think I think our world is gonna change. Hey, what's next for you, man? <laughs> it's funny that you would mention that, man. It's funny yeah. that you would mention that. Um, I'm going through a lot of changes in my life. Oh, okay. Actually, uh, with Sailor's Delight and uh, and the cruise ship on the rise right now, I um, I feel like I've I've reached my Mount Olympus. You know what I mean? No, tell me more. It's a little emotional for me to talk about, James. No, hold on, I gotta. I got to get some courage in me real quick. Yeah. Well, if I learned anything from talking to Carmen, you got to let yourself be vulnerable. Mm. James, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, brother. I want you to be in charge of the cruise ship. I'm not just bringing you on to be part of Sailor's Delight. I'm bringing you to become the captain. I can't take your job, man. You are the captain. You're right. But from day one, when you asked me to come on your show... And you took a chance on me, James. I was just some goddamn piece of shit on a, on a buoy and out to sea. And you said, fuck it, I'm going to bring this guy on. He's okay. I knew him from improv. And you brought me on. You took a chance on me. And you got the biggest damn heart I've ever met. And honestly, I can't picture anybody. None of these sons of bitches behind me. They can't do what I do. You. You could do what I do. Well... Look, I'm kind of steering a ship of my own. It's it's the show. Ah, you'll find purpose here, man. The cruise ship, the people, underground funk town. Where are you going? Ah, one day I might not be here, you know, James? What are you trying to say, Dimitri? I just want, I want to make sure that the right person is in the right place. Just in case something bad happens to me, you know? What, yeah, what, yeah, what are you skirting around something, man? What do you mean something bad? James? James, do you hear that? Yeah, what's going on, man? Oh my god. It's here earlier than I thought, James. What is happening, Dimitri? It's the Kraken, James. I made a deal with the Kraken. They made a deal so I could drink the way I do, so the cruise ship could be as popular could be as popular as, as it is, James. I made a, I made a deal with the Kraken, and now, and now it wants what it's owed. No, you you gotta reverse the deal. You gotta reverse the deal. I can't reverse the deal. What are you? What it's you, over. You dumb bastard. What do you mean? I reverse the deal. Don't call me a dumb bastard. I'm on uh, your side. I know you're on my side. I love you to death. I'd kill for you, brother. James, I, I, I gotta go. I'll do what I can to carry on your legacy, James. I want you to know something before I go. Tell me. I love you to death, brother. I've always loved you. I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. I'm a better man for having to know you. And when I die, I want you to know that you were there with me. 
Because what did I say on one of those first episodes? I said, one day we're going to die together, brother. Didn't I say that? Yeah, but I'm going to continue living. Okay. You continue living, and I die. I want you to know that I loved every minute of it, brother. Rock and roll. Fuck everyone. And love, 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 love the Mediterranean Islands, James. Bye, Dimitri. Tell them all I said hi. Hey, bastard. My name's Captain D. And you're not allowed on this boat. Woo! I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. His security team, Sailor's Delight, literally did nothing to help him. The four strongmen that he employed to bodyguard him did nothing. And now he's gone. I lost two segments on this show tonight. Carmen's gone. Dimitri's gone. Can't bring DJ Bitcoin back. I'm going to get busted for copyright infringement. Well, on the bright side, DJ Bitcoin, he'll have a good time smoking cocaine tonight. So he'll go to a faraway land and follow his bliss. Carmen's going to go to Copenhagen. It's pretty nice there. She can drink coffee by the boat, reflect on life, reflect on her past relationship with mean business. All the while, her child by her side, drooling as eloquently as only a child can. And Dimitri will live the rest of his life inside of the stomach of a mystical kraken. He'll eventually die. And then he'll go to a better place where he can consume all of the Jack Daniels and Milwaukee's best that he wants without his liver turning on him and ultimately expiring. Guys, I didn't expect our final Saturday night edition of this show in this iteration of At Home with James to end on such a stoic note. But I think the real message to take away from this is that you have to appreciate what you've got And at the same time, you can aspire for more. You can be satisfied, but still be hungry. And I know that that's what I'm going to do tonight. Think about all the good times that I've had on this show with the great people that I've had on this show, but be excited, eager, and enthusiastic about the even better times that are to come. And those better times start in two days on Monday at 9 o'clock p.m. right here on twitch.tv slash at home with James. For DJ Bitcoin, for Carmen Rose, for the now deceased Captain Dimitri Kirez, I am James, you are you, we were here. Good night, goodbye, farewell, and be well, and thank you for a great Saturday night. See you on Monday.